Patrick Butler is one of the 16 Americans charged in Egypt and he works for the International Center for Journalists in Washington DC. I spoke with him earlier and I began by asking him how he came to be charged in this case. Well, uh, my organization, the International Center for Journalists, has been working in Egypt for many years. Um, and uh, I am the vice president of programs there, so my name is on contracts and uh, other documents that were taken when our offices were raided back at the end of December. So I, I assume that's why I was charged. But you I'm, weren't actually in I Egypt. I was not at in time. Egypt at the time of the charge. I haven't been there since last June. I've never lived in Egypt, so uh, you know I've been labeled as an escapee or a fugitive. Uh, in a lot of the Egyptian media, but I've never actually lived there and uh, wasn't there when the charges were filed. And what were you actually charged with? Um, my organ all the people working for my organization have been charged really with only two things, which is uh, having an office without being registered and bringing money into the country again without being registered. Um, and we have been trying to get registered in Egypt since 2005. Uh, which is pretty much the case for all of the organizations that were raided and are now facing these charges. Um, we were told by the government that in order to uh, get registered, we needed to open an office and show that we were a real organization and, and actually carry out activities. We did that, um, and, uh, and then, ironically, we're, we're charged with uh, having done so even though we weren't registered. Um, now, they're saying that we did this to, you know, sort of sow discord uh, in Egypt, um, which, of course, could not be further from the truth. Um, we're a journalism organization. All we do is help journalists do a better job of informing people in their communities, and that's what we were doing in this case. So as far as you're concerned, these charges are completely trumped up? Absolutely. They're, they're baseless. But then how do, you, how do you feel about that? Why, why do you feel that the, the Egyptians are doing this, if you like. I mean, what are your thoughts on it? Well, um, you know, my thoughts are, are really mostly concerned for our, our colleagues in Egypt. In, my, in our case, there were three Americans who were charged, none of whom has ever lived in Egypt or, or were there at the time uh, of the charges. Um, but our biggest concern is for our two Egyptian colleagues who uh, are there and continue to face these charges. Um, we're, we're brought before the court on Sunday and put into the cage, as they call it, as were uh, Egyptians working for the other organizations. It was a really humiliating experience um, and for people who have done nothing wrong except try to improve Egyptian society. So that's, that's really, I think, how I feel about it is, is mostly concern for my Egyptian colleagues and, and, and the possible uh, penalties that they could face. Talk a little bit more about exactly the kind of work that you do do. I mean, why would the Egyptians think that somehow you were a threat? I mean, if, as you say, you believe that these charges were trumped up. Absolutely. I mean, we our work is, as I said earlier, just strictly about helping journalists. So we train journalists on how to do ethical, responsible reporting. Um, one of the projects that we were doing was training citizen journalists to report on issues that were happening in their local communities, in their neighborhoods, things that weren't getting covered in a lot of the mainstream media. Um, so they could report on things like, uh, you know, um, housing problems in their neighborhoods or whether they had clean water, environmental issues, things that were very, very local concern. So, uh, I mean, is your organization funded by or affiliated to any U.S. government uh, agency, the State Department, anything like that that may make people feel that somehow, you know, you were, as they say, right. inciting uh, unrest? Um, funded by yes, affiliated with no. Um, so we are an independent, nonprofit, non-governmental organization. Um, we are journalists, and, and independence is absolutely crucial to us and to our mission. Um, we are mostly privately funded, but we do have some U.S. government-funded programs. And in Egypt, we had two U.S. government-funded programs, and, and those are the question. Um, so, uh, so while we are primarily privately funded, we do have some U.S. government funded programs. We're very careful when we do those programs to make sure that, that we're never being used as a propaganda arm for the government. We would never do any program where we, you know, we're used to try and advance the, uh, the State Department's message. All, our, all we're trying to do is, is help journalists do a better job of...